I learned an important life lesson. I, 36M, met my wife, 33F, four years ago and was taken aback by her open and unapologetic cheating. We had highs and lows like any other relationship, but I never expected the lows to be so low. We married two years ago and everything seemed perfect. We both worked in the same sector, but at different firms. I was a manager and she was just starting out and working together would be against corporate policy. Because we worked at different firms and were over an hour apart, I never imagined infidelity would occur because things had been going so well at home. I could work for 12 hours and then come home to food and anything else that anybody would want to do after a hard day. That's not to say I didn't do the same thing. I always did. Every week on my way home, one of my favorite things to do was to deliver mom her favorite flowers. She squealed every time I walked through the door with flowers and she gushed even more when they opened up to reveal their full color. We started arguing about a year into the relationship, but it was nothing more than ordinary misunderstandings. Although I was worried, I ascribed it to some of our financial problems. She hadn't been earning as much, and even though I was the major provider, what I produced didn't always provide us with the comforts we had enjoyed months before. I constantly assured her that things will get better, and they did. I was given a raise as was she, but the disagreements did not fade as quickly as I had hoped. Fast forward to March 2020, and the pandemic has financially us both. I qualified for aid and quickly accepted it to ensure we have the necessities. She, on the other hand, did not qualify and was naturally disappointed. So when other firms outside of our field were recruiting, she went for it and obtained a position. I was earning close to what I was making pre-pandemic on a weekly basis at the time, and we agreed that it would be unwise to go out and hunt for a job that would effectively set me back in my career. This meant I'd remain at home and help out while she worked, and we'd be great with both incomes. Prior to and throughout her employment, I helped her by making sure she had all of her paperwork filled out, waking up early to help her get her lunch, occasionally showing up to her job to take her out to lunch, and taking care of most of the other housework she wouldn't always have time for. I had no idea that her newfound happiness had nothing to do with just getting a job and returning to a much more solid financial situation. According to what she told me, the affair began practically as soon as she obtained the job in May and lasted until I returned to work in August, leaving the house unattended. I found out about the affair in November when I arrived home one day to get something I had forgotten and found the door bolted. I discovered a bath drawn with candles lighted and her wrapped in a towel when she eventually arrived. To the door. The chain door was uncommon, and it piqued my interest since we lived in a guarded building that required a key fob or a code to access. As I looked around, I observed a shadow behind the bed in a nearby mirror. I shouted at him to rise up and face me, and for the first time, I recognized the person who was cheating on my wife, was someone I had met several times when I picked her up from work. My wife officially introduced me to him, and I immediately felt ill to my stomach. He quickly departed, and I sat there feeling dumb. When I questioned why, she became upset at me for finding out and, when pushed further, said she felt a connection. From there, I knew I had to go, but I had never planned an escape strategy. My assets had been significantly drained as a result of COVID, and moving out was no longer a possibility. So I had to put up with that for the next two months until I could relocate. By far the most mind-numbing time period I've ever experienced. We slept in different sections of the house and went on as if we were roommates. I wanted to be courteous, not for her sake, but for my own. There was not to be. As I discovered she had gotten pregnant as a consequence of the adultery, and I just ripped the wound open more, making me feel like things couldn't get much worse. She also continued to flaunt the connection in front of me and knowing what was likely going on while I wasn't home made going to work unpleasant. Worse after I moved out she refused to pay the rent, and the management firm continued sending me notifications about it. I moved out in January and started accumulating money to pay for a lawyer and counseling services. It's important to note that she never expected me to file, and I was very cautious not to give the appearance that I was going to. The delay provided me with enough time to meet with a lawyer, who reviewed all of the information and first encouraged me to file for divorce, but then determined that an annulment would be better. In addition, the lawyer drafted letters to the landlord to assure that I would not be held accountable for the lease as well as paperwork with the Internal Revenue Service to share our tax payments. We filed for divorce at the end of May, one year after what I believed to be the beginning of the affair. Several revelations have since emerged, including the possibility that she had more than one affair partner, and by more than one, 
I mean three or more. We had her served at work approximately a week ago, when it came to my attention that she had moved out of the flat and handed the keys to the building manager, got an email from the management company. After that, I'll have to wait since she has 35 days to respond before the case is deemed in default and the decree is handed down. In the event that new information becomes available, I will provide an update. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Update. So it's been a little more than three months since my STBX was delivered to my door at the beginning of June. His non-response to being served just served to demonstrate that she either didn't care or wanted it done fast as possible. I'm writing this because I've received word that she has retained legal counsel and intends to dispute the annulment. After calling the courts, I was astonished to hear that she had asked for an extension at some point around the end of August, which was nearly four weeks after the original deadline had passed. My thoughts are flying through my brain because I can't believe she wants to reconcile with me even for a little moment. Because she did give birth to the AP child at the end of July, it's possible that she's more interested in finding someone to raise her a fair child than in developing a meaningful connection with me at this time. I don't know for sure since I can't read people's thoughts, but the possibility that she would try to sue me for fatherhood has crossed my mind, and I won't pretend that I'm not worried. If she does. After months of therapy, I've come to see how violent my marriage was, and I have no doubt that if she's the same person she'll do whatever she can to keep me in prison for the rest of her life. The day she and her counsel will appear before the court is scheduled for Friday, and any words of encouragement or advice on how to deal with this news would be very appreciated. Story 2 My girlfriend randomly broke up with me and now I think she cheated. In general, I'm not one to publicize my problems on the internet, but I'm in desperate need of advice in this case. Everything was okay while I was dating my ex for a short period of time. We spoke about our future all the time, and she was constantly looking for opportunities to have me around. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, it was Easter. She told me that she wasn't feeling well and was depressed. As she expressed a need for solitude at one point, I suggested that we break up for days on end, reuniting only when she begged me to communicate with her again. This went on for a week until she decided to do it once more. I was dumped by her, and she made it seem as though it was going to be another dump relationship. She erased me from her social media accounts two days later, and I just recently learned that she had with someone only a few days after we ended our relationship. She recognized him as the guy who had given her a ride home from a bar only a few weeks before. I was on the point of ending my relationship with her, but she reassured me that nothing had happened, and in my love-induced blindness, I honestly believed what she said. It now seems to be an excessive amount of a coincidence. It seems that she hasn't sought us out once, and according to someone who knows both of us, she seemed nonchalant about our split, but she became really enraged when the guy she had with blocked her and went back to his ex-girlfriend a few days later. She hasn't been in touch with me once since the first. Separation This is a time when I am feeling a broad variety of emotions. Anger, amusement, and disbelief are all expressed. To be honest, I'm just looking for some advice on what to do right now and what you think of the situation as a whole. Any assistance would be much welcome at this time, as I am at my lowest point in my life.